Oh, I'm still muted. Uh, <laughs> oh welcome, my god! <laughs> welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Cam Show uh, Sunday night live streams on Twitch, uh, BLDs on YouTube. Um, so yeah, uh, we're tonight we're talking about the conference championships that just uh, happened. Uh, we're gonna start off with the yep. first games of the day, and that was LA Rams against the New Orleans Saints. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, the Saints were favored in this game. Uh, they were at home. The, the crowd was ruckus. And there was a controversial call, supposedly. Uh, there were a lot of controversial supposedly. calls, in my opinion. In my, in my opinion. In your humblest uh, opinion? Yeah. Supposedly? Uh, like, well, let's supposedly. just go from the beginning. The, the Saints came out and they scored a touchdown, mm-hmm. obviously. Yep. And then uh, Jared Goff gave him, like, a present. He basically... Through an interception. Well, uh, that was Gurley. Right the red it slipped out of Gurley's hand. It slipped out of Gurley's hand, yeah. And right but into I mean, Jared, the Saints. It still counts against Jared Goff, even though it shouldn't. But it, it still counts against Jared Goff. And, yeah, well, you know, it put uh, uh, the uh, the Patriots, the Saints, in prime position to win the game uh, moving forward. They had the lead. Mm-hmm. Um, they established somewhat of a screen. I, I can't call a screenplay a run. because, And I can't say that it's a pass either. But they established the screen with their running backs. They really mm-hmm. did. Uh, Kamara was killing them, killing them uh, with them short deacon and dackings uh, that Drew Brees was doing. But uh, it came down to a crucial play in a lot of people's eyes, uh, which, I mean, of course, everyone's going to talk about it for the rest of the next two weeks, which is the so-called non-pass uh, interference call that occurred when, um, when Drew Brees threw the ball in the fourth quarter when they were – Close to to scoring a touchdown, and in my opinion, there were a lot of missed calls. There was a lot of face masks uh, from Saints grabbing uh, face mask of the Rams players. Uh, there was one where like a guy jumped and he literally landed on top of a St. Louis Ram player and didn't even throw a flag. So to me, I think that that off that offensive pass interference that they should have called because it, it was it was. I mean, defensive pass interference, it was a pass interference, but Mm -hmm. uh, all those three other calls that weren't called, I'm glad it wasn't called. And really, really, it still didn't damage the game. It was 23 to 23. You had a chance at overtime to win the game. You had the ball (laughs) in your hands. You had the balls in your hands, and Drew Brees threw an interception. So really, really, to me, the game falls on coaching and uh, Drew Brees. Okay, so it didn't really. <laughs> so you're saying it didn't. <laughs> you're saying it didn't affect the game. Okay, oh, it did. It was all, OT. First of all, great three. <laughs> first of all, great game by both teams. Um, Jared Goff and the Rams in the dome uh, played much better than a lot of people thought they would. At least in my opinion, I know a lot of people kind of thought the Rams were going to take it. I mean, but it was a close game. Uh, Really, out of this whole weekend, you can't ask for more. Um, yeah, you really can't. Just great games. Uh, you know, all great around, all around, all day. Uh, just entertainment all around. Um, Jared Goff played a great game. Anderson played great. Really weird to me that Gurley wasn't out there more. I know he had yeah. the mistakes. Um, you know, the drop passes. Uh, but I know he had the touchdown. But still, like, that's, you know... Uh, you know, one of the top running backs in the game right now, and he's not out there on the field. It's mm-hmm. really weird it, to me. It reminded me of the Damian Thomason when he was with San Diego, uh, San Diego Chargers, and they were in the AFC Championship, and he was just sitting on the sidelines. I mean, it's like, like, that reminded me of. I, I get it. Anderson is, you know, he had a great game last week. Uh, really, and he, uh, had a, one of, he had a decent game today, too. He had a really good, decent yeah. game today. I too. mean, he had some good runs, but in the end, he only had 44 yards, 16 carries, and for an average of 2.8 per, per carry. Just not really much. I mean, just the all-around run game didn't do much. Uh, that's where I think the um, – the Rams could have done better, but Breeze again had a great game. Um, was yeah. spreading the ball around the field. Um, yeah. The run game also didn't get off really well, but Kamara great in the passing game. Uh, Ted again with some major catches. Michael Thomas with some major catches. But in the end, the game was locked. Saints had the lead. And this pass interference gets called 
doesn't get called. Well, called? doesn't get doesn't get called. Like it, the guy, I, I, it's the one guy thing. Did, it's one thing if it's guy. like it's kind of like a close kind of thing, but this play was beyond obvious. Correct. There's don't get me wrong. There's bang bang plays where I give mm -hmm. the refs the credit. Then there's like those everybody, face masks. Like we we're, we're just get we're just gonna skip over these face masks. No one masks, cares right? about the snake face masks, man. The game decided. The, I mean, this play decided the game. Saints would have had if with three that first face down masks, right there, three face masks calls down, that were not they called. Had, they three. would have had uh, a minute or so left with the uh, Rams. I believe only having one timeout. I mean, basically, you just run the ball or get another first down. The game's over. The game is done. And these guys decide not to call. He literally hit him, and then the ball went flying by. He hit him before the ball was even there. Yeah, it's just crazy for. Like, I feel bad for the Saints. Wh wh while I was watching the game, I saw that like a lot of the a lot of the calls a lot of calls weren't being made at all. Like for at all sides, they were letting the game go. They were letting the players yeah. play. And I was like, no, okay. and I agree. I was like, okay, I see what you guys are doing. That's fine, but for a play like that. You cannot fuck that up, and they 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 fucked it up. That's it. The NFL I mean, but, but look, wants look, LA Elias, Elias, in the championship. Look, more money. Elias, the, here's the thing. More viewers. The thing. We can't talk. More shit. money. We can't we can't talk shit because this exact same type of situation, maybe not the exact same type of play, but this exact same type of uh, situation happened in 2001. When uh, wow, Oakland win bro, and, 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 they, wow. and they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ago. Same shit. Wow. Patriots did not deserve to That's go to that Super Bowl. Years ago. So Let we can't go. act. We can't you're, act. You're drowning. We can't act. Let it go. And at least, at least, ago. at least with the pa at least ago. with the Patriots, at least with the Patriots, like it's they, they, they fucking won <laughs> the game zero, off of that. Nine. Oh, Fucking New, New Orleans, they went to OT. They went to OT with the ball. Okay, but we're talking about this game that happened in 2019. And this is a call. Hey, hey okay, plain and simple. It, it plain did not and simple. determine the game. Was it a it did not was, a, was it a pass interference? Plain and simple. It was pass interference. Okay, then. Yeah, it was pass that's the whole. That's my whole issue with yeah, this play. Yeah, but did it? They were no, letting the game to, go. They were letting the, key. the game go. Did it affect the game? Because I, in my opinion, it didn't affect the game. OT, yeah, OT. It the you're game. 23, that 20. Wasn't the last no, couple of seconds. You're 23 to 23. Wasn't there like 30 bro. seconds left, right? 23. There? You have the ball in OT. You have Drew Brees. You have Michael Thomas. You have Alvin Kamara. You have a squad to go down and score a touchdown. And you throw an interception? To me? Come Drew on. Brees you you just that, gave Goff he, he, the credit. He threw the, an interception to that, that high, high value defense that has superstars all over the field. I mean, it was bound to happen. And I, that's fine. I mean, but honestly, who is Drew Brees throwing the ball to? Like. He was throwing it to uh who is this all-star team that's surrounding was, him? He was throwing it to Michael Thomas. Michael Honestly, Thomas was one of the Jared best receivers in the NFL. Didn't show me shit. He looked average. He looked like he he obviously looked like this is like his first rodeo. Like this is his well, first it is his game. first rodeo. I know that's what I'm saying. It's obviously showing that. Yeah, and, but I mean, and hey, he was lucky he had that team <laughs> around him. His ass would not fucking be uh, going to the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, look, we we forget. When when Tom Brady went to the to his first Super Bowls, he was a game manager too. Like a lot of quarterbacks that go Why to the first. Are you second, I, I don't know. Game. Why are we Get talking about them. that? I'm just Get giving you examples. It, everybody it's that goes to the Super Bowl, the, examples. Everybody that goes example, to the Super Bowl the first time. Ben, no, Ben <laughs> Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger was a game manager too. Like quarterbacks that go with a badass squad, they're just a game manager. They Look, do man, enough to God, not lose the game. God they do enough to not lose the game. I'm not blaming or yeah. giving him the game. We should give. I'm, we I'm should give it props. to the refs. I'm giving it to the refs for winning, yeah, the letting refs. the Rams win because that game should have been over in the fourth. First off, I give. First I off, give highest props and MVPs they even, to Legatron and, and Peyton and Sean Payne. Even yes. in the conference said they gave me a call and they said they blew the the, the call. What can he Leg do? Legatron, Legatron, even NFL, but and still, still, and like that's <laughs> what I was telling you. This is this is what I understand. You still have I just to feel stop. Bad for no, 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 no. <laughs> Elias, just check this out. You have one of the best offenses in the NFL and one of the best defenses in the NFL. You go to OT, everything is tied. Brand new game, all right. You throw an interception and then you can't stop them, and then you can't even stop a 57-yard field goal. So fuck all these idiots that are talking out shit out of their mouth like Lowe's. 
What the fuck? You had and you're at home. You're at home. You Amen. should number one, the you should score. Be on your side. Number two, home, you should stop. Yeah, yeah, both yeah, both sides both like no, no. Look, man. Both sides. I'm all both <laughs> sides <laughs> had a chance to stop. They did I'm not. They it. failed at I'm home. At home. Yeah, in no, the end, okay. in the I'm end, all... they had they had four quarters to they beat this team. They had four quarters, and right, and they had an OT, and they had oh, the come ball. Come on, man! I, I, yeah, ridiculous. I give you that. This, but this but ridiculous. That, but to say that that one play didn't affect them, that's BS. It didn't. It it's twenty-three them. to twenty-three <laughs> OT. Everything's them. fair and square. No, it it's a brand them. new game. It's a brand new quarter. That could have been the game-winning drive right there. Hey, man! I'm all for Like that would have sealed. That would have probably sealed the game for them. All right, I, I'm all for teams winning the right way, man. Um, I, hey, man, if you win the right way, if you if you really deserve that win, hey, man, even if I don't like you, which I don't even mind the LA Rams, I have nothing against them, but hey, man, if you win the right way, you win. You won, you're the winner, you're going to Super Bowl, congratulations. Yep. When you win <laughs> by other means, and you know, you know what? You talk to, <laughs> We, and, you and, talk and, shit and, a lot about the Patriots and their team, man, bro. This and, is just and let's not forget. And the, and the, and the Rams let's, calling the plays for that Raiders game. Let's, let's not forget. And see, you know let's what? Not the forget that you is. talk shit about that. Hey, hey, this is let's, just let's not forget. Standard. Let's not this forget. Just, so number one, you mention number the one, Patriots and Raiders. Number one, I'm gonna yeah. mention this game to you. Okay, go ahead. But the Patriots didn't go to OT. The Patriots didn't go to OT. The Patriots cheated. They cheated. They got caught three times. The they got snow. caught. It was so bad they burned the tape, bro. They and burned the tape. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Are you fucking kidding me? All Same right, bro. Shit. You, you were so fucking dead quiet when they found out that they were cheating. You were like dead quiet. You wouldn't no, say shit. They're winners. You wouldn't say shit. They're winners. They Come rings. on, man. Anyway, look, rings. shout out to the LA Rams. They went out there. People don't want to talk about how they were down Congrats 13. The they, they were down 13 points. They came back. New Orleans For was sure. at home. The they ref. had the lead. They gave up the lead. They got Congrats their ass to beat. The NFL. Congrats to LA, man. I'm going. I'm going They're for the Super Bowl. My prediction was that LA and uh, uh, both LA's, uh, Sandy, uh, Chargers and Rams will make it to the Super Bowl. Obviously, uh, the Chargers didn't make it, but LA Rams did. I'm going for them. Uh, I like how they go about their business. I love their coach. Their coach yeah. is so smart. Like he knows how to go. He knows how to go for it. The refs um, are going to be lot, wearing Rams jerseys. And a lot of people, a lot of people in this game, in this New Orleans game, because Elias, they were up 13-0, and they had stopped the Rams, and the Rams did a fake punt. A lot of people don't remember that. The fake punt is what turned this game over. McVay, they should have stopped that. Punt. So yeah, that, was that was a great call by, uh, by the coach uh, Sean McVay. Not only that, uh, just. I love their team. Their team is, they don't talk I can shit. Tell. They just go out and play. He's they just go out and play. God's I really like their team. I really hope that they win the Super Bowl. They got cheated in 2001. I really I hope, hope they go back swallow. and they earn the Super Bowl like and they shit. destroy the Patriots. All right. As far as the Saints, you know, they had a good season. Uh, unfortunately, they played at home. They had 13 points uh, lead in the first and second quarter. They gave that up. That's on they them. They had the game. Um, so, they didn't I give mean, up the lead. They, they had, had a the chance. They had a chance yeah. at OT. The they it. had a chance at OT, and they had a chance to stop them and score. They did. Well, yeah. There's no so, way you're gonna get a first down. No, hey, right. good season. DBs good season. Are hitting your wide receivers. While hey, the buy New here. Orleans fans. Buy, buy all the Houston Texans fans that bandwagon to New Orleans because they're a huge the bandwagon fan. And now buy. they're going the. LA uh, Rams. Nah. Hey, 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 <laughs> I'm going for the been, Rams. <laughs> hey, if it had been if it had been the Rams, if it had been the Rams wow. versus Kansas City, it's if it had been it the Rams folks. versus Kansas City, I wouldn't have gone with so either. Easily. I, I wouldn't have gone with either. I would have been season, like, hey, like you know what? I'll just let whoever win win because it's just LA and Kansas <laughs> City. You know, whoever you go, you best wins. But LA. Patriots, the cheating Patriots, you fuck no! I go for who? The Patriots are like Cowboys. No, they didn't get held. Patriots are like Cowboys. They didn't get held by the Rams. I am going yeah. for LA. Fuck the Patriots. I'm going for LA. Hell yeah. They didn't get held by the Rams. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> especially like, especially because of little fanboys like this motherfucker. Fuck yeah. What? Fuck yeah. Uh, fuck I don't know. Yeah. Someone's bleeding, man. Hell yeah. Let's go, LA. Come on, Tom Gurley. Get healthy and run over. Over that defense. Don't All right, well, bleeding, I guess that, that's good enough for that game. Uh, yeah, and there was another game that happened too. Um, the Patriots against the yeah. Chiefs. Uh, so New England goes, goes into uh, Kansas, Kansas City's, and Kansas City, uh huh. And so, okay, 
Pat Mahomes, first time here. Tom Brady, year after year after year. It's starting to look like the fucking Golden State shit again, but in the NFL, which is fucking stupid. Don't do fucking smile and nod your head yes when you were just bitching about that yesterday. Don't, yeah, but, don't, <laughs> it's the same. Building a team of five players. Shit. No, the only difference is now is that it's the team players. that you go for. Well, with, 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 in this game, honestly, this game it's was easy lost. To get five, also. This game was lost, it and, and easy to get twenty-two. Hey, this game was lost. Because of Patrick Mahomes, I put the blame on Patrick Mahomes. He did not score the first and second quarter. Uh, he kept falling for that zero blitz. I don't know why he kept falling for that. Uh, there was a running back that was wide open all the time, and he and that's the it's thing with Kansas City. Of, uh, they wanna they wanna Bill always Belichick. yeah they always wanna do the home runs. And Patrick Mahomes was trying to do the home runs all the fucking time instead of taking what the defense gives you in the playoffs. Sometimes you just gotta take, give what the defense gives you. Um, he wasn't doing that. I felt what? like in the first and second, yeah. I feel I like felt you flip flop on what you say all the time. Cause sometimes you're like, oh yeah, he doesn't want to throw the ball and he's over here just checking it down. But now you're saying, oh no, he shouldn't have thrown the no. ball and he needs to check it down. Like, look, uh, on three, come there on, were, man. okay. It's cause the th this game is about inches, dude. It's about inches. <laughs> oh, no, all right. Inches. When you have the, when you have the Patriots. <laughs> With the Patriots, and this is what Eli Manning did. This is what Eli Manning did, and his and Tom Coughlin. Eli Manning and Tom Coughlin would run the ball. They would do screens, and they would take on a pass, and then they would catch him off guard because yeah. Bill Belichick's defense isn't great. They're never great. They bend, but they don't break. That's their motto. So what they what the Giants did is like they would lure them. They would lure them for the run, and then hit them with the home run. But Kansas City wouldn't do that. Kansas City was just going for the home run the whole time. Did you see Pat Mahomes check out, check down once, once? Because I didn't. He didn't check down. He doesn't need to check down. He has he uh, what? He has yeah, he, uh, he has Kelsey. He doesn't need to. Check Kelsey down. did not do shit. He only had one touchdown for a couple of yards. Yeah, that's that's dang it. shit. That, that ain't, ain't shit. shit. And then Cheetah, the Cheetah, he was double teamed the whole time. They took him out. So what you got to do in that instance, you got to make someone else the playmaker. Hill. You got to make the running back the playmaker. Hill the playmaker. If you notice, the two times that they scored those 14 points, it was other players. It was actually one player was a running back because he checked it down. And the running back went all the way down because it was supposed to be a screen play. So, I mean, you have to do that with, with Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. He's going to he's not going to he's not going to give you the big plays, dude. You mm -hmm. have to make the big plays with Bill Belichick. What the okay. Best. Okay. Uh, uh, are you, okay. No. Come finish. Finish. I'm okay. Sorry. The way to build Bill Belichick is number one, not to be a pussy, and number two, kill him where it hurts. All right. When you're on two and two and nine, don't fucking throw. Make it manageable, man. Make, get three and fives, dude. That way you can get the first down. Well, Bill Belichick, you want to kill the clock and you want to score. The more you kill the clock and you score, the easier it is. Once again, playbook. Eli Manning, twice. He is Tom Brady's daddy. I mean, twice. I, I, right now, I don't think for this game, specifically this game, you can't really put blame on anybody. I mean, it, it went into OT, and Patriots got the ball, and, I mean, they just drove it down their throats. Yeah, but, but I mean, but, Kansas City and, and, and is in that case, like, Kansas City didn't even get a chance to set the ball either. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but Kansas City has no defense. We, I mean, Kansas City is, like, what, almost last defense. in defense? They have a, they have a decent I mean, defense. <laughs> they have a great uh, defensive line. They don't have a good secondary. They're like okay. the Texans with secondary. Okay. Um, Mahomes, I don't know... If you're saying that he didn't make enough big plays or he didn't check no. it down enough, I'm, I'm getting mixed up because I'm, I'm hearing both from you right now. What I'm uh, saying what is, is that he didn't score. It? He didn't score the second and third quarter when because what ends up happening mm -hmm. is that Bill Belichick is always going to try to trick you in the first and second half, and he always gets the ball in the second half. That's why he does it. He always defers in the first half, so you get the ball in the second half. So he's mm -hmm. going to throw all this shit at you in the first and second quarter. It's normal. He's this guy is. We got to remember this guy's first year. The the zero blitz was killing Patrick Mahomes, dude. Killing. All you got to do is throw it over. Just mm -hmm. throw it over. Why are you trying to go for the home run? Throw it over. He had nothing but the middle wide fucking open. That's what zero blitz does. Um, it there was, the middle wide there was open. times that you can see Mahomes. He he panics and he just throws the ball away when he when he didn't have to. And they even commentated that. Uh, yeah. The commentators that were watching or that were calling it. And, Dude, go and ahead. Like, go ahead. Pat Mahomes, again, this is his first time. 
here, mm -hmm. the second year in the league. I mean, he showed up. For me, I felt like he showed up. He he made a lot of mistakes. Some of them cost him uh, probably some touchdown drives. But the guy, man, dude, the guy is such a, a baller, man. He's so fucking good. Yeah, that's what, that's what, okay. So Patrick Mahomes, for a guy just getting his, uh, a full season under his belt, mm -hmm. I, the guy played great. You can't really ask much more out of Patrick Mahomes in this game against the Patriots. They, of course, they came playing very well for uh, with him, but they came out in the second half and they basically yeah. erased that deficit they were under. Yeah. Um, the guy was averaging big plays. He was averaging 18 yards per completion. Granted, he was around the 50% completion rate. Um, oh my three God. Touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. He, how, he was 16 How much did he throw for? How much did he throw for? In the end. 295. Well, no, like how many times did he throw? Oh, 31. Uh, 31 and he uh, completed 16. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's bad. And, oh my God. Uh, anyways, the guy <laughs> had a great game for that's us. That's bad. Seen as his development and he's being a young QB. Great game, couldn't ask more for, for Mahomes. He basically, he put him in the spot to win the game. If you want to blame anybody for this, which I don't, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not trying to blame anybody. Uh, if anything, I'm trying to credit the Patriots. But if you want to put blame on anybody, it would have to be the the defense. You get the you, you mm -hmm. like you said earlier. You're in OT. It's a clear game. You have the chance to win the game there, and they couldn't stop Tom Brady. So if you want to put a blame on anything, it's the it's, it's the Chiefs' pass uh, defense. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think you're uh, right. Well, especially especially when you see Kansas City drive the ball like like almost like it's nothing to them like you see them go down the field to get into overtime and i felt man if kansas city would have gotten that ball first in that in the in the in the coin yeah flip, pretty much man they would have the won game, the well, game looked I, like I, it was decided by a coin flip but can we really, can we really just talk about tom brady the goal <laughs> yeah yeah that's <laughs> what i was gonna say yeah we could Honestly, talk about tom brady's two interceptions yeah well let me, let me, let me go first <laughs> let, let me go first first of all tom to me tom brady didn't impress me what impressed me was Bill Belichick's plan. They ran the ball on this defense. The run was so established so well. Like yeah. that run Tom Brady threw. That running Tom game Brady was threw, outstanding. Yeah, I mean that that running game. The second half. Uh, let me ask you a question, uh, Elias. Who scored the touchdown? Was it a running back or a wide receiver or a tight end? It was a running back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they ran it, right? It was like ten yard run. Okay, thank you. Anyway, the point is that the run was very established early on. They ran that ball. And here's the thing, with which I don't understand from, from AFC coaches, man. With Rob Gronkowski, he was pushing them little cornerbacks all fucking day. All fucking day. Um, mm. To be honest, to me, it falls on Kansas City's defense, but I think that it also falls a little bit on Andy Reid because you have to coach that zero blitz better. But shout out to Bill Belichick, Greatest coach of all time. He came with the game plan. He could have had fucking any quarterback, any quarterback to do what Tom Brady did, and he still would have won with the game plan he did. His no. defense always picks up in the playoffs. It always has. Yeah. Um, and and that's just how Bill Belichick is. Bill Belichick will always plan ahead. Uh, I mean, he's had, you know, a season without Tom Brady, and they win 11-5. and five. Yeah. Um, So, I mean, that just goes yeah. to show you how great of a coach he is. Uh, I mean, it just it is what it is. Uh, shout out to him. He came and he got that rookie razzled, and Andy Reid didn't know what the hell. I I, I don't think Andy Reid suspected that he was zero blitz. Honestly, I don't think it was coach. <laughs> I, really right. I don't know why you're harping on the zero blitz, but um, no, no <laughs> doubt. Uh, Belichick, greatest uh, coach of all time. Um, he had the right game plan, um, mm. but obviously the Chiefs adjusted. And they started scoring points. Um, yeah. And you're right, Mahomes in that second half, they were moving that offense like nothing. Um, crazy calls by the refs in this game. Uh, a lot of challenges, a lot of reviews, mm -hmm. uh, both ways. I'm not talking about any, any, man, there were crazy calls on both sides, crazy reviews on both sides. Some calls that I'm like, man, who knows what the hell that's gonna be. Yeah. yeah um, the i'm not even gonna harp on it because it was it went both ways some teams got a call other teams didn't 
some reviews were just who knows where you know probably will never be answered on who the hell because they were both they were making bad, bad calls on both ends but the deciding factor in the end is tom brady <laughs> in the you know in the fourth quarter in ot making those drives getting his his team in position to win the game mm -hmm. and mahomes um just you know uh, it's just it's really on Tom Brady just getting them in position to win those games. Um, you know, I, I want to give some credit to to Edelman as well and Gronk because oh, man, no they doubt, made some no catches doubt. like shit. Like, how do you do that? There was one where Edelman was just stretching out his arm and like he caught that ball. At no, that was Hogan. That, that was Hogan? Hogan. Oh, that's right. That was Hogan. That was Hogan. Yeah, he catches Hogan. that ball and like cradles it and like I was like, oh my god. But Edelman was doing his thing too. But yeah, but the, and, the and one... then after after those like fuck ups that Edelman had first in the in the punt where yeah. he kind of whiffed on it and mm -hmm. the he touched it, looked... he touched that shit. I don't think he touched it. <laughs> he touched um, that shit. No, but and uh, then the, yeah. the interception yeah. that he ticked and went right to the like for him to come back in mm -hmm. the um and and you know in that old team he was big on on those plays yeah. like mad first down catches on third down that. Hey man, uh, I don't think any 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 other quarterback could have done it. Uh, you know, Belichick could call all the great plays he, he wants. He needs a QB to under that pressure to complete him. Third down and long, and Tom Brady was throwing darts out there to Gronk and Edelman to get him to, yeah. uh, to, to that game when he when they, when they went into OT and like Brady started throwing the ball, I was like, oh shit, that fucking hurt my hands. Like that yeah. fucking ball there were was flying. Like, oh my god. And Edelman, god. Edelman, I mean, he, you gotta give him props. I mean, somebody, mm -hmm. you know, me, if I'm out there and I fuck up that for my team, I'm deflated, man. I, I'm down. I'm, I, yeah. You know, not a lot of people could probably come back from that. But man, he made some big plays, uh, got his team to go to the Super Bowl for sure. Yeah. Uh, anything else you wanna add, uh, JP? I mean, I think some of y'all full of shit, but I mean, I guess <laughs> I didn't see. I saw ducks. I saw ducks. I saw cornerbacks not taking care of advantage. I saw cornerbacks not pressing. Uh, I saw well, cornerbacks was, not turn around to intercept. There was a lot of times uh, that even even uh, your favorite quarterback, uh, retired quarterback uh, Tony Roma, was talking about was like if you see if you see where where if your corners are not covering are not double teaming Gronk. You throw the ball to Gronk, and when he made that call and that play, the very next play was that they were yeah. not double Romo teaming Gronk. And, 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 and he that wasn't, the ball. Like, that wasn't. Like, let's not say like that was a great throw. That it was, should have it been wasn't, intercepted. It wasn't even like the throw that was great. It was the catch that was like yeah. the catch was the, in coverage. That's why and, I'm, like, I'm like, I don't know why y'all heaping all these. these I bro, me, the cornerback was right here. Yeah, no, he and, right and, 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 and look, the funny thing is, <laughs> the, the, the funny know, thing man. is, that's how stupid Los is. It wasn't a cornerback covering Gronk. It was a safety. It was Eric oh. Berry, and Eric hey, Berry did not turn doesn't around. You gotta see. But you know what? That's, That's why you you got to have great <laughs> corner great cornerbacks and good safeties, like uh, like great cornerbacks like you know Akeem Talib or or like and Darrell Revis or they would turn and look. But I don't know what these cornerbacks were doing, man. All uh, right, they, coach. It was just bad, man. The, that, <laughs> defense, right, coach. that defense for Kansas City, all they need is really to work on their defense, man. They should just do what the Rams did. The Rams went out and bought the whole fucking defense. So, bought, I mean. Bought all the all stars. It's a good day, man. I had a great day. All right. So, day. I mean, I guess that means we know who's going to be at the Super Bowl. So, we're going to have uh, the New England Patriots play against uh, the LA Rams. Yeah. Uh, but before that, I want to also uh, go over the, like, I know we've been talking about it already, but <clears throat> as, as far as the referees in these games. Like, it's been bad all season, man. It's been you, bad the entire season. I mean, from from what you guys have been telling me, but like, do you feel like I, like I said earlier that they let these games go a little bit more than they would have in the regular season, or do you feel like this is just the refs how they are and this is no, what the problem is? Look, I would I don't have a problem if the refs look. I do have a problem with the refs being so involved in these games. 
Okay. Like, let them play. But then, <laughs> they're, they're flip-flopping back and forth. There's plays where you hear, oh, they're just letting them play. They're letting them have it out there. Fine. Then, then stick to that, right? If that's your philosophy, heading into these games, let them play them. If you're going to let shit go, then that's how you got to treat the whole game. And then you got tiggy-taggy shit where, I, you know, a DB you know, can push a guy five yards, uh, five yards, but it's just mind blowing to me that they're calling things pass interferences that aren't pass interferences. And then they're not calling pass interferences that are pass interferences. It's just be consistent. I wouldn't have a problem with the referee today if they would just be consistent and stick to a philosophy. These refs, they're basically part-time reps. They have other jobs they do, and then they oh, rep. Okay. I think that the NFL needs full-time reps, that they dedicate themselves to this shit. And you're right, it's been an all-year thing, especially with the new rules for Q, uh, for protecting QBs. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady today had a passenger. Uh, uh, a roughing the passer. A roughing the passer. That was, that was not roughing the passer. That was, it was not, not roughing the passer. And, and the same play happened to Mahomes, but he didn't get a call either. And so that's what I'm about I'm to go over that right now. Don't worry. Don't stick worry. Stick to one. It, it, it's just back and forth to me. There's no. I'm, I'm feeling. Sometimes they're really careful and protecting people, and sometimes they just don't give a shit and let shit go. I need consistency. Shit, if, if we're you know, talking about consistency, probably look, the, the Rams Saints game was the most consistent because they weren't really calling anything. I'm just giving an example. But you know what? We act like this is like something that's brand new. It's, it's not. not. This has been going on for years. Number one, when the Saints went to the Super Bowl the very first time, they hit, did a low hit against Brett Favre. That was a flag. They didn't call a flag. Uh, when the Cowboys beat Detroit, that was a pass interference with the to Detroit. Detroit should have got a first down and won that game. But it, they when didn't the call LA it. Rams uh, beat the Saints, I mean, when when that Oakland, was a pass interference. When, <laughs> when, when, you know, you know when, when when Oakland, uh, that was a fumble. It, Oakland should have won that game and gone to Super Bowl. It didn't get called. They got called something for something that was never existed. That like, doesn't even exist anymore. I mean, these are calls that happen every year. The tuck rule. This, 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 yeah, the tuck rule. That that after that game, it doesn't exist. Like, no, it, they they, so, they implemented it for a little bit and then they took it out. Yeah, because it was bullshit. It was yeah. bullshit. So I mean, at the end of the day, there's always going to be a call. You have to uh, surpass that call or try to not let refs dictate the game. That's what it comes down to. Uh, as I said before, the New Orleans had a 13-point lead, uh, um, and they had to hold that 13-point lead. They did not. Uh, that's their, That's on them. That one call cannot affect the whole game. You have to score. You have to do different things. So, I mean, to me, uh, refs are humans. Refs are going to make mistakes in any sport. Yeah, do I believe that they need to be full-time refs? I definitely do. Uh, especially for the NFL, but that's why we have replay. That's why we have New York. Yeah, but there's call. no replay for calls, and that's that's something that I think should be looked at. I mean, the game as is well as changing. as well as these quarterback hits that these quarterbacks are way too protected. Man, it's time to hit them. It's time. No, Fly. I think calls should be reviewable. So that call right there, um, I think, should have been reviewable. Um, yeah, he should some... be able to throw one of his red flags to review that. That's yeah. true. I agree with that too. But then. You know, it kind of puts the refs in a precarious position. No, like, oh, it, you puts, it actually wrong. saves the refs because yeah. call, now the refs that are being attacked for the Saints game or for whatever cause, you know, you save them that because what the coach gets, re- uh, the coach throws out the review, everybody sees what it is, and now the ref is spared all this fucking hostility that they are gonna get. I mean, I think it's good for the game, but you know, whatever. Uh, something that should be reviewed. Refereeing, especially this season, I mean... Yeah, this has been one of the worst. It's, it's, yeah, for sure. It's been one of the um, worst. Wow. Because, you know, we they have hundreds of cameras out there on these games. U- yeah. Utilize them. You know, we have super slow-mo. Uh, fucking zoom in, zoom out. Like, we have all the technology there disposable. So the whole world sees and the ref's not able to, you know, take advantage of those things. Um, so, yeah, I, I it's a shame uh, yeah. certain game certain guys i feel bad for drew Brees for sure man uh, i think he last year being beaten by the vikings in that fashion uh and today uh you know being beaten by the Rams, uh it's a shame man. <laughs> he'll be fine he has a super bowl he's going to the hall of fame he'll be fine yeah that you're right you're right for sure 
All right. Well, let's look ahead for um, the the most exciting game, uh, the Pro Bowl. So we had the AFC. <laughs> nah, 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 we're not talking about the Pro Bowl. We are not talking Pro Bowl. Get out. Not talking about no damn Pro Bowl. Hell to the nah. All Star Weekend. I never. I don't even watch that shit. I don't even watch All Star Weekend or fucking. You don't watch the, the Those skills guys challenge. Those guys there for a vacation. No one freaking hustles. No one nah, tackles. On. Uh, yeah, we're not talking. It's boring. Wow. Nah. Well, I guess we can talk about the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, uh, Patriots against uh, the LA Rams. Uh, the game is going to be played in Atlanta. Uh, what do dome. you got? <laughs> the Atlanta. No, I don't think it's a dome anymore. It's like the Mercedes no. Benz or whatever. No, it's a dome. It's a, it's dome. a dome. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, dome. it's a. It's it's. I wouldn't call it a dome, but it's covered. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> dome. It's like a multi-million, billion complex. It's like state of the art. That shit is nice. That shit might as well. I don't know, man. That's a fucking that's a mansion <laughs> stadium there or something. Yeah. Well, okay. So they're gonna be playing on Sunday, uh, February the third. What do you guys expect in this game? Who do you No, think? wait, wait. It's not February the 3rd. Mm, yeah, that, that sounds is. about right. Yeah. February Shit. the 3rd. I think I work. Fuck. On a Sunday? It, yeah. Because uh, it's long story. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway uh, Anyways, yeah, they play on a Sunday on the 3rd of February. 5.30. Well, yeah, I, I think that this game um, is a good game for Sean McVay. Sean McVay, from what I've seen, Bill Belichick's history, he always loses to coach coaches who take risk, who are aggressive, um, and who aren't scared. Uh, I think Sean Shit, McVay. You don't have to be scared with all that talent on your team. Well, I mean, <laughs> dude, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised. I mean, the Eagles—they had all that talent on their team in 2005, and they got scared. Donald McMahon was throwing up. Are you fucking kidding me? Because of the pressure. Um, did, he, did he not have T.O. though for the Super Bowl? The what? Did he not have T.O.? Didn't he get hurt or something like that? No, T.O. was hurt and he still was destroying the Patriots. Um, but no, uh, so he falls under that line like Doug Peterson. He needs to learn from Doug Peterson to not be scared to take chances, to not be scared to take risks. Go in and try to win this game. This is the last game of the year. This is the game to win it all. You mm. fucking go out there and you leave it all on the line. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck them and their fucking coach and their quarterback. That's the mentality <laughs> you got to have. Uh, that's what Eagles did. Eagles didn't give a fuck. They that's went true. in there and they fucking weren't scared. Mm -hmm. uh, Eli Manning with his face went in there and he fucking whooped the shit out of him too. So uh, that's what the mentality you got to have. And you got to lay it on the line. You cannot be scared. Uh, mm. These cornerbacks, you got to press. Uh, the, the, the reason I say they have to press, these mm -hmm. cornerbacks, because the Patriots don't have no deep threat. They don't. So why the fuck are you giving them space? Play. Um, yeah. Um, the Chiefs, for example, today, their defense was big time focused on the zone. You're not going to beat the Patriots with the zone. When you have a calm and collected quarterback like Tom Brady, the zone, great for people that look at one receiver and kind of just panic and throw mm. tom brady's not gonna do that tom brady's gonna scan the field he's gonna tear zones apart so true uh but uh the rams do have that i believe the personnel to press and man uh and you gotta pressure tom brady chiefs today no sacks against tom brady um mm. you have to hit tom brady otherwise you're not gonna win uh but of course uh i mean the way the rams played today I think they got saved. I don't think they have what it takes to beat uh, uh, Tom Brady. I don't think they have what it takes to beat Bill Belichick. Um, you have a young uh, quarterback, a young coach going up, a vet quarterback, a vet coach. Now, I, I really like what JP says, that young mentality, they go in there and they're not scared. You saw Andy Reid today kind of play safe sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will get you killed. That will get you burned. Um, I think McVay is not one of those coaches. I think he's going to go in there firing. They could care less. They're going to be going for it on fourth. They're going to be doing freaking fakes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're going to be doing the unexpected. And that's something that always throws Bill Belichick off. Um, yeah. But I just don't see Gong. I mean, Gong didn't have a great game today. Um, and, and now no, he's no, going no, no. to the biggest game in his life, the biggest game 
he, he's ever going to play in against Tom Brady. I just don't see him playing well. They're not playing their best running back. They're playing Anderson, who had a mediocre game today. I just, uh, you know, I don't see the Rams overcoming the Patriots. Well, uh, uh, what, what, what I like is that C.J. Anderson has won a Super Bowl, and he beat the Patriots uh, to go to the Super Bowl. We forget that they has experienced players, too. In the Rams, he can't understand scaring old Patriots. He's whooped them twice, so uh, they have that. Uh, Todd Gurley, if he's healthy, he can run. The defense that they face today in New Orleans is not the defense they're gonna face with the Patriots. Uh, I guarantee yeah, they're, they're playing a better defense in no, the Patriots. No, no, they're not. They're not. The Patriots don't even have the personnel that New Orleans has. Uh, so I feel like the Rams have a very good shot of winning this game. Um, of course, as I said before, they just have to go in there, play not scared, and just play all out. Um, that's the only way to, to do this uh, because the way Lons is talking, like, I don't believe these coaches. He said the same thing when the Patriots were 18 0 and they went against Eli Manning, um, and Eli Manning won. Uh, the next time that the Patriots went to the Super Bowl against uh, Eli Manning, he was our old revenge game. And no, it wasn't a revenge game, it was just a I just know they and went then, against the highest then, team in the AFC. And then when the Eagles went, home, when the Eagles went, that, when the Eagles no went, team. when the Eagles that's went, when the Eagles went, uh, they had no shot. They were underdogs, and uh, they went in there and they beat they beat Tom Brady. So there is a recipe already to beat Tom Brady. It's just not playing out scared. Uh, you have to play to win. Uh, like what was that coach uh, from the Jets? Uh, you play to win the game, and this is the greatest game. So if you're going going to the greatest game, you go all out, man. You hold nothing back. You go you, you, and hopefully, and this is where the X factor is, Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley did not look healthy today. He has not been healthy these playoffs. I'm hoping these these two weeks of rest should put him back in that position. Because if the Rams have Todd Gurley, and what we have known from experience, the Patriots' weakness is running. Uh, when, when they have wide receivers, the weapons they have, and a running back, you have to pick your poison. Uh, and Bill Belichick is going to have to pick one poison. And that's, I think, going to be the recipe for the I, I for the agree. If, I don't know what is up with Gurney. To me, he looks healthy. It's just for some reason, the Rams, I mean, I get it. Anderson has had a good, a couple of good games, but he's no Todd Gurley. Um, I don't know why they're sitting Gurley. I don't know why they're sidelining him. But, man, if if the Rams go, go into that Super Bowl with Gurley just running running on the Patriots and then golf using that play action man that, that's a hard combination to stop yeah. um I mean I don't think uh, the Patriots have the the big bodies to stop the running game if Gurley gets going I think they could stop Anderson I just don't think that if Gurley's added to that mix man that's gonna be super tough but yes um if somehow they could get gurney into the game and he gets going i don't know what happened today i haven't seen any reports about him being injured so to me it seems like he was healthy he was just being sidelined for some reason the rams need to beat the patriots the rams need at least two to three sacks and a turnover and um, that gronk game. gronk today I, I think he's gonna have to do even more in the super bowl edelman no mistakes but man if he could keep those big catches coming up in third downs big and gronk um it, uh, you know the Rams secondary is better than the chiefs secondary for sure Mark, hey marcus peters he might he doesn't need to run fast this time because I, I wouldn't give Mar i wouldn't marcus give marcus peters, peters doesn't need much, not only much. that not only that you got to keep to leave now keep to leave is the best cornerback of course I don't see a wide receiver breaking away from Keep to Leave. I just don't see it. Yeah, so you're basically but I see shutting Gronk. down. Yeah, Gronk. I see Gronk. If they if they don't double team Gronk, <laughs> that I I I feel Gronk is gonna have a big game. This could possibly be be his last game of his career. He could. I feel like the guy wants to go out with a bang. He had a great game today. Some big catches. I, I mean, it, it, Gronk. I feel is the Patriots X factor. If he can get a big game yeah. uh, going. Uh, in the Super Bowl, you know that, um, and, and look, even if he just draws double teams, triple teams, that's enough. That's look, all Brady needs to find is, somebody this, else. This is what Correct the sneak. Rams need right. to do, and they have the personnel, just like the Giants did. The Giants, what they did, they stopped the run and made Tom Brady throw the ball all the fucking time, and they would hit Tom Brady. That's what the Rams got to do. The Rams, yeah. all they have to do is stop the run, 
and then force him to throw. And Tom Brady's older now. Thanks, Tom Brady, guys. those balls, they look like ducks. Like little yeah, I don't know about that. Dude, he doesn't throw darts. He does not throw darts. <laughs> I saw darts uh, today. You saw some stupid I shit. I saw then. darts today. If you saw ducks, if you saw darts, you need to go I get some better glasses. Today. I saw ducks. I, I saw, saw that little quack. Motion. I saw little quack quacks. I saw, I saw quack, that quack. throwing motion like crazy, man. That's one of the fastest releases in the game. Hey, for look, sure. man. I, all I gotta say is the Rams don't be just be aggressive. Stop the run. Pressure that motherfucker. And you've got the personnel. And Dominique and Sue has been playing lights out. That's they true. They cannot That's true. stop him in the middle. You, That's if true. Dominique and Sue has a big game, oh lord. Jesus and Donald, um, uh, Aaron Donald, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Just that combo in the middle right there for the Rams. Is, ooh man, that's that's tough for any team to go up against. They were stopping the run, they were pressuring the quarterback, they were getting hits. I mean, if you could start hitting Tom Brady, that is the trust me, I've been watching Tom Brady since fucking 01, 02. If you can hit Tom Brady, that will be the only thing that will get him off his game. Cause then he starts rushing his throws. Then he starts overthrowing people, underthrowing yeah. people. Um, so that's you gotta get to the quarterback. I, that's gonna. Be, that's another key to the game is those that O line and D and the D line. Yeah. Is that can that O line stop? You know that D line uh, that most of this year has dominated other teams. So very. Um, I, I can't wait, man. Super Bowl is here finally. We started the three way podcast at the beginning of you know um, with the Jesus NFL started. season. Yeah, and now man, it just feels good to have the Super Bowl around the corner. Uh, two long weeks, man, but I can't wait. Uh, two, 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 I mean, two of the best teams in the NFL for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, glad that I have something because I have errands to do. I'm glad this Sunday's going to be open because I have a shitload to do. <laughs> no, you yeah. don't watch the, uh, the Pro Bowl. Nah, fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, but, but I can't uh, wait, man. All right, so any uh, closing remarks? Tom uh, Brady is the greatest of all time. <laughs> Go. I can't wait till the Rams win the Super Bowl so I can put Tom Brady in the same class as LeBron James. That's the goal. Uh, I know a lot of championships. Won, lost a lot. Won only a couple. Yeah, but a lot of championships. But a lot of championships. <laughs> I'll, take I'll take it in. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, for as far as Tom Brady legacies, Bill Belichick's legacy, they're the greatest of all times going into this game. Uh, losing it isn't going to affect it, and winning it is just going to augment it. That's it. All right. Well, all right. Well, I guess uh, that's going to be it for the cam show tonight. Uh, just a little quick recap and reminder that uh, Through Way Podcast, main podcast, comes out on Mondays, 6 a.m. on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> on uh, on uh, the audio version comes out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, Anchor, of course. Uh, Tuesdays, you'll see the VOD of this on the YouTube side. Wednesdays, of course, are our hub day shows, and we're going to record that tomorrow. I'm fucking tired. Uh, Thursdays and Fridays, we try to live stream now. Uh, cool. So catch us here on the Three Way Podcast uh, Twitch channel. How uh, many people are watching this shit right now? Uh, right now, four. <laughs> Thank you to all four of uh, y'all. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Uh, next week is going to be uh, Skeleton Crew. Los is going to be gone. M is still going to be gone. I'm, M actually, we actually did mention on the podcast why she wasn't there, but then we realized that the video wasn't recording. So then when we said it again, I, I, uh, we missed it. But she she's having car problems, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens, life. But uh, yeah, she'll be back. Not next week, but the week after. She's also going on vacation. And yeah, maybe we'll get a guest. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes. We'll discuss it. But then again, I don't know. You know how this shit goes. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and listening. And I guess we'll see you guys next Sunday. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we'll be on. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know. Maybe Resident Evil 2? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be playing the shit out of that. I know that. Uh, all right. Well, thanks. Good night. Peace. What the fuck, close? <laughs> 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 All right.